We might be able to get back on. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Mike King, Pete Chavis is here with us. We are at the Better Business Bureau. We're here working, and we're having a little bit of technical difficulties. Alrighty, so the man Pete is going through the value proposition and all the ways that the chamber, that uh, the Better Business, I'm getting ready to say it's the chamber. Yeah, but, the, but it, it's close. It's close, but it's but not. You, it's not, it is the Better Business Bureau. We are here, uh, one of Mike and Mike, this is the program. We're here uh, Mondays, we kick off the week with them because they're building trust in the community from the business to the consumer, helping consumers stay safe as well as helping the businesses stay safe. So you're, you're talking about the, your proposition. What else you got for us? Well, we do a monthly newsletter, and in that newsletter we feature uh, our newly accredited businesses. But also within that newsletter we have what we call a Leader's Minute. And in that Leader's Minute we give accredited businesses the opportunity to talk about their business what their passion is, how do they how did they get started, and most importantly, the goods and services that they offer, and uh, how people can contact them. Uh, that is uh, that video is sent to all of our accredited businesses throughout Central Virginia. Let me ask you, so when you talk to business owners, they think they know what the Better Business Bureau, no, not really, they don't know. But after you work with them for a while, you have some success stories. What's the one thing that you kind of, people are shocked and they tell you, hey, Pete, this is, this is what I found and this is not what I was expecting? Well, you know, one of the, one of the things uh, that people get shocked about uh, is they feel that oh, people don't go to the Better Business Bureau to check out a business. Uh, which is totally false. It has to be. Yes. We don't go anywhere anymore and, without and, looking. And, and, and that's, that's, that's totally false. But I don't know. You do see people getting scammed sometimes. Oh, yeah. like, you had to ask somebody, yes. and they didn't ask anybody. Right. And so, uh, you know, when they find out uh, that someone has uh, gone uh, and, and checked them out through the Better Business Bureau, uh, they seem surprised. And then once I have the opportunity to actually educate them on the numbers of hits that we get on our website for people inquiring. Once I get the opportunity to show them how many inquiries their business has had, then it sort of changes their tune. And they say, oh, okay. And I ask, I ask people this one question, Mike. And it's a direct question. I ask them, how many people do you trust? And I get that reaction. What other reaction is there? <laughs> get that without, reaction. There, yeah. There's no, I okay. That, I get that reaction. That's one of them. Right. So, mm -hmm. you know, that shuts the conversation down uh, right away. Uh, but, you know, there are numerous other success stories. I've had, I've had people call me and thank me for uh, coming by and uh, introducing them to BBB accreditation uh, because they have used it properly. Uh, they have taken advantage of the programs that we offer. They've taken advantage of the Leaders Minute. Uh, they've taken advantage of our uh, seminars and, and, and webinars. Uh, they've come to our networking functions where they were able to meet various people and take advantage of that. And I've had people over the years, numerous times, call me and just thank me for coming by. And that's a feel, that's a, that's a feel good for me. Which areas do you guys cover? We cover all of Central Virginia. Uh, that's what uh, this bureau covers. Uh, the bureaus are autonomous in the fact that we cover certain areas. And the reason uh, we can only cover certain areas is because it's physically impossible to do more than what we do. Central Virginia is more than enough for us. Uh, we are constantly busy, today more than ever before, uh, not only because of scams that are going on, but because businesses want to establish trust in the marketplace. And we're educating them on how to do that. And you, you've been at this for a long time. Yes, I have. Explain what, from your vantage point, the differences that you see now in business as opposed to... Back in the day, and this is when you get to a certain age, I don't want to be the old man that no, you know, get, okay. get off my lawn, <laughs> but there was a certain level of trust and respect that people had in the past. Some of it's gone now by the wayside because businesses are farther away. It's not so much Main Street that we go That's to. That's exactly right. What do you see now as a big change? Well, you know, of course, uh, of course, social media uh, has created a big change. 
uh, people can be anything they want on the internet. Yes, you can. Uh, so uh, people have to be more more cognizant of who they're dealing with. Uh, that's why we encourage businesses, especially businesses that do online sales, uh, to use our BBB seal so that they can be recognized as being credible, reputable, and reliable. Because that's huge. Uh, there have been so many people who've gone out, they've bought product, never received the product, and they're out of their hard-earned dollars. And this doesn't, this doesn't make sense, and it's terrible. It's, it has changed uh, so much. I used to see my father do business with a handshake and a drink of Kentucky Gentleman. That's and not the case anymore. You cannot do that anymore. That's a that's a era that's that's gone. It has disappeared with the dinosaurs. It has disappeared, but the Better Business Bureau, Pete Chavis, Barry Moore, and you guys are out there trying to keep a certain level of that alive with it being an accredited business, and you guys are out there waving the flag for trust. Yes, we are, and I like to call it waving the flag of integrity. Uh, any business that's ethically, ethically qualified should, should be in a position to wave the flag of integrity. Uh, and they should uh, take advantage of being a BBB accredited business, uh, simply because of the importance of conveying to the general public of how important trust is in the marketplace. Trust is very important. It's very important, and people have forgotten about that. Uh, the only time they remember that is when they've been scammed. On the backside. On the backside. That, and it's too late and now. It's, and it's too late. Because you're talking to them about, but that's where we've had the conversation. That's where we know the Better Business Bureau to be, the scam people and all that. But there's so much more. It's so because much more. And I had heard before that even businesses are getting even, scammed. Even businesses are getting scammed. Uh, businesses that you would never think uh, that would happen to. But you have to understand, the scam has been around for a long time. Forever. And, you know, what's happening is uh, the con game is becoming more sophisticated. Mm -hmm. You know, if banks can, uh, banking institutions can be scammed, if uh, people with uh, numerous years of experience in business can be scammed, if, if, if the Bernie, Bernie Madoffs of the world can scam people out of billions of dollars, it then, can come happen. On, then come on, it can happen, it can happen to anyone. But that's just a small part that's, of what you guys that's do. That's only a, a, a 20 percent of what we do. That leaves a lot. Yeah, and, and, and the other part of what we do is, is the educational piece. It's educating people on what we do. Uh, also, providing our accredited businesses with a platform to express the mindset of how they do business. Uh, for instance, we offer any accredited business with any type of expertise in a particular field to come in and do a seminar. And this, what only, the only thing this does, it helps to perpetuate success. It's called reaching down and pulling others up. And so we offer that. We also rent out our spaces to our accredited businesses. And you got some at a discounted rate. Awesome facility here. We have an awesome facility. And they can come in at a, a discounted rate and have their meetings. Uh, or we have a large room on the other side of this wall where we can divide it. So, you know, we can have uh, a couple of businesses in at a time doing their thing, right? And we have TVs for PowerPoint uh, presentations and, and, and whatever. Uh, but it's important uh, that the general public, especially consumer, it is important that, consumer, that the consumer knows that we do a thorough check before any business is approved or denied, and that better business bureau accredited businesses make better business risk. There you and go. that's important. And that's the message that we're getting out. And we're going into communities, educating the consumer on that very same thing. There you go. On the mic with Mike, that's why I tell you, we bring the best and the brightest to you. The Better Business Bureau is after promoting better business with accredited businesses. You have the choice, ladies and gentlemen, to go and do business here and there willy-nilly. And what you could get is not possibly what you'd want to get. But also the Better Business Bureau is offering some, some uh, ideas and programs for business owners that you can't beat out there. So make sure you check them out. And you are at uh, Central Virginia... Uh, that's P. Chavis. P. Chavis at... At centralvirginia.bbb.com.
www.thepeopleshow.org. There you go. On the mic with Mike, we kick off Mondays with these guys here doing some outstanding work. You can find me on social platforms, hashtag on the mic with Mike RVA, as well as uh, Mike King Biz. I'd like to thank Mr. Chavis here. Uh, it, it's been a learning experience. I mean, you, you know your way around the microphone and around this, this game. And so, you know, I'm just taking out pen and paper to learn something here. On the mic with Mike, we'll talk to you soon now.